disruptive events. So right now, they have to do disruptive events. They have to make black swans. They have to do black swans in the, in the, like, in the, crash the economy, crash banks, you know, weather events, you know, we've been having. Before I travel, remember, four days, there was no flight because they had this crowd strike thing that affected all airlines people just wake up and realize that they are preparing us for these disruptive events and what happens after the disruptive events you can accept digitalization if you just google i just traveled all over the world it's so bad in africa i was in kenya nigeria uganda there's so much digitalization everywhere and right now just you be yeah, for people who don't know africa other than china is ahead of everybody like nigeria yeah nigeria is the market crazy. base you don't even know what's happening in Nigeria. They are starving in Nigeria. They are trying to bring the mark of the beast Please. for transhumanism. They want by 2025 for everybody. To, they want a digital ID to be everywhere by 2025. And just Google any country right now. Most countries are at very advanced level in their digital ID. Like I said, I just traveled. There were places that they didn't even check my boarding pass or passport. They just looked at my face and let me on the plane. This is getting really, really creepy. So I'm <laughs> telling people, be prepared. Prepare yourself. We're not scaring you, but if you're prepared, you're not going to be scared. If you have food and everything and they try to come after you, come after your family, you can stay home. You can sit around and write this. And of course, guns and ammo, it's always a good thing to make sure they don't come barging into your house. Prepare yourself, prepare your family. Stock up food, stock up water. I'm going to talk about over-the-counter medicines you need in an emergency. Make sure you get prescription medications that you need and you can get Get your COVID complete pack. Get the things that you need and start building your immunity. And, and by the way, this start is a no-brainer. And it's not like you just showed up today. I've been this you, you've been doing this forever, but you've been there day one. You've got some of the very best products in your yes. medical doctor. Mm -hmm. You both have prescription service and you have this over-the-counter stuff that's second to none. And you're a great spot. Effecta. Everybody. Okay. All right. I want to start off by giving all praises. Let me say Barak Atayahawa. Barak Atayahawa Shai. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elder bishops here in Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad. All right, I'm the brother Taz of War from the GMS New Jersey camp. And uh, just here with a quick another another video, you know, um, this video, as you can see from the title, I don't have to read it to you, or, or maybe I will. This is from the Alex Jones show. And, um, you know, it's just news as well. You know, information that uh, you might have missed. And it says, exclusive black doctor on African fact, on African fact finding mission discovers cashless society in a full, in a full rollout, plus micro C-hipping of children and uh when i saw the title i said you know you know let me let me uh see what see what they talking about and i decided to click the button at the same time so i haven't watched this video yet it's just new to me as well and i didn't know she was going to start so strong as soon as the video came on and um i'm gonna have to you know of course edit uh some of those uh trigger words you know for the algorithm when you loading this up on youtube you know so I'm gonna have to cut some pieces out. Uh, what I'll do is I'll share the link. You know, I was thinking about putting it on Odyssey, but it might be too much. You know, these shows be long. Um, I'll leave a link for you brothers and you few sisters that want to probably see, you know, everything or more or the full video. I'll leave a link. You can click the link and it probably take you right to the uh, Alex Jones show, his website. You know, his own website that he has, and he put up his news. And, um, you know, what we do, we chew the meat, we spit out the bones, all right? Uh, she did mention the, um, you know, the Mambala, you know, that's that's the Kobe, right? And um, she mentioned how she said, you know, don't take it. And, you know, I'm just here to tell you, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashmi, I was shy, all right? That, that what we went through, through 2020 till now, and what they were giving the Mambala, they was giving you the Mambala, right? It's not the micro C hip. And it's not, excuse me, it's not the MOTB, which is the mark of the beast. But she did mention it. You might get confused. But she's also telling you from what I've just saw is that uh, they, they're going to roll this thing out. 
all right? And uh, we've been saying that, all right, from my head apostles here in Great Millstone, the bishops, brothers on down, been speaking it for years because it was through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim I was shy, the vision, you know, and the message that the Lord gave brothers to teach and to prophesy. So I want to bring this quick precept out since I had it up. Uh, this is Amos 3, and uh, start at verse 6. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people be not afraid? Shall there be evil in a city, and Yahweh have not done it? Surely the Lord God, which is Yahweh, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets. The lion have roared, who have feared? Yahweh have spoken, who can but prophesy? The prophets, the men of the Lord. The Lord set up his prophets, he sends them out. And they go teach his word. He's been doing it since the beginning. Before they were called prophets, they were called seers. And the prophets are back. Whether people believe it, accept it, or they don't. You know? It is what it is. But the Lord sent forth his true prophets. Just like you got false prophets, which there's many more false prophets than there are true prophets. You know? And that stuck with me with uh, Elder Apostle Gabar bringing that out in a few of his lessons a while back. And that stuck with me. You know? Because it's so true. You got many more false prophets than you do the true prophets, all right? And it makes sense because the elect is a small remnant compared to the masses of the Lord's people. And I'm speaking of the Lord's chosen people, right? There's an election that's going to be saved on this side. There's an election that the Lord is going to keep from the hours of temptation. They're not going to take the micro C hit. They're not going to take what, what is called biblically the MOTB, all right? Revelation 13, 16. He calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in his right hand or in his forehead. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark. All right? So, what we believe here in Great Millstone, and we got it right, and we don't have no doubt, we know that this thing is going to come full force. All right? Revelation 12 and 12, the devil coming down having great wrath because he knoweth that he had but a short time. And he's going to come down with great force. The scripture also in Revelation 13, 16, when it goes into the MOTB, it also speaks about how in the beginning it says, for he calls of all. That's a force. We saw a glimpse and a prelude, a prelude of that back in 2021, you know, right? 2022, when they was, you know, talking about the Mambala and everybody had to get it. You couldn't go back to your, your gig unless you had it. That was a prelude, which is a practice, a trial run. But when they roll this thing out, they're not going to want to make mistakes. They're not going to want to draw back. He is going to push forward. When they roll this thing out, this devil is not going to roll back. And that's why the force and that's why the, the draconian laws is going to be passed, um, which they're passing now. Um, the strict rules and hard, you know, the hard, harsh penalties is going to be in place because they're not going to roll back once they roll out. All right. He is not going to go backwards. He's going to only go forward, which is beautiful because the Lord is bringing him into a boundary that he can't pass. And that's in the book of Job. Matter of fact, since I'm uh, I'm prophesizing and the Lord got the spirit flowing, I want to play more of the video, but I want to grab precepts as well. And I don't know when I'm going to you know, bring out precepts. So I want to keep it rolling. Lord's willing. All right. So let's bring this out real quick since I quoted it. Job uh, 14 and 4. It says, Who can bring a clean thing out of an unclean, not one? Seeing his days are determined, the number of his months are with thee. Thou has appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. All right? So there's a boundary that he cannot pass. All right? Meaning in his rulership of his age for him to rule, He's not going to extend his rulership more than what the time limit is. This is why there's a prof the prophecy is that Yahweh is going to return. He's going to be sent back by the Father to fight. He's going to come with Michael the Archangels and a band of angels to fight against who? The ones who rule the world. Not a, they, this, you know, Christianity speaks on the devil, God versus the devil. The, the word devil means deceiver. And the ones who that the Bible talks about, the, de the devil that the Bible talks about, 
all right it's not just the spiritual the uh spiritual angel on the left hand side that everybody calls satan who came it's not all it's not all about uh who you call satan the one that the angel that came before the lord right to speak with the father excuse me that came before the father or that tempted yahweh who the world inly calls jc but it also speaks of a man that's also called the devil the dragon the old serpent all right and that's the, the counterpart of him is the esau edomites they are the devil that the bible speaks of matter of fact apostle paul prophesies about the um the the son of perdition all right the son of perdition he said they sh he said he shall be revealed in his time and this is the time when he's revealed so back to the point who can bring a clean thing out of an unclean not one seeing his days are determined the number of his months are with thee thou has appointed his bounds that he cannot pass meaning he cannot cross this boundary he cannot extend his rulership longer than what he desired because what they plan on doing if you don't know is that they want to turn everybody into a transhuman all right meaning man plugged up to machine or man um, um uh, uh tied up with uh the internet of things you know man merging with the internet of things meaning computer uh chips uh technology inside your body that's becoming a transhuman all right and that's the goal for the future that they desire for us and them all right so I want to get this real quick since I'm here, Job 12, right? This is the book of Job, chapter 12. And, uh, oh, matter of fact, excuse me, Job chapter 5. And I believe verse 12, yep. It says, he disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. He taketh the wise in their own craftiness and the counsel of the forward is carried headlong. They meet with darkness in the daytime and grope in the noonday as in the night. But he saveth the poor from the sword, from their mouth, and from the hand of the mighty, so that the poor have hope and the iniquity stoppeth her mouth. All right. So the Lord said, look, he disappointed the devices of the crafty. Who's the crafty? Esau, Edom. When you go back to the, 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 the uh, story of Jacob and Esau, the foreparent of the Edomites is, is their forefather, Edom. Uh, Esau all right and Esau what was his characteristics to live by the, to live by the sword right matter of fact he was a uh, he was a, he was red all right the scriptures talk about Harry he was also a man of the field he was skillful and crafty and that's the nature of of the Edomites very skillful and crafty all right and we see that today this is how we can identify all right who the Edomites are you know, for those who know, you know, all right, because let me say this, a lot of jokers out here, they don't believe the, the prophets, the men of the Lord, they don't believe what, what is being taught to them or told to them, they believe in whatever they want to believe, but it's going to come a point in time when the Lord is going to fulfill also the, uh, the scripture, like he did in the past, he's going to do it again, where it says, uh, I think that's Ezekiel 33, he says, uh, then you will know that there was a prophet among you. When these things come to pass when the prophecy come to pass then you're going to know that the lord have truly sent his men out there on the highways and byways teaching his word in season and out of season giving you this truth day and night you know people come across our videos they skip them some people watch some people laugh some people scoff some people may agree or some people feel like no nah, i can't get down with that because i got this going on whatever you're going to know that the lord sent the prophets to you and that takes me back to the original scripture that i want to get back to so, but this scripture in Job chapter Job 5 and 12, he disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. And ultimately, this is their NWO. All right. This is what been taught or said many years ago through different whistleblowers. They spoke about the NWO. They cast it out as a conspiracy. It's a conspiracy fact. We understand biblically that this is, you know, the mind frame the craftiness of this devil and what he's planning on doing we know biblically all right we understand we didn't get this information from whistleblowers all right we got this from the spirit of the lord it's just the whistleblowers just added just make it more evident that's all it is man the lord comes first bro all right everything starts through the spirit you know 
and the Lord has his way of doing things. And that's what a lot of uh, Jake don't understand. They don't understand that the Heavenly Father has so many ways of doing things. But he did tell us that he's, he's he, he, he uh, matter of fact, let me go to it. He did tell us that surely the Lord would do nothing, but he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets. All right. So let me continue. Job 5 and 13. He taketh the wise in their own craftiness and the counsel of the forward is carried headlong. They meet in darkness in the daytime and grope in the noonday as in the night. And that's their little secret meetings, their little brotherhoods, you know, the Bahamian Grove, so to say. Right. It says, but he saveth the poor from the sword in their mouth and from the hand of the mighty. Right. Because they are mighty. They have a strong army. They have the laws and the and the men behind them to do their will right they can do whatever they want with us you know if the lord allowed them to right but it says the lord said he saveth the poor from the sword which is thou sword let me bring this up real quick salakia this is the book of psalms chapter 17 verse 13 Arise O Yahweh disappoint him Cast him down deliver my soul From the wicked which is Thou sword so we know that Also Esau Edom is the wicked And the scriptures Tell us here I think this is King David He said O Lord disappoint him Cast him down deliver My soul from the wicked which is Thou sword so let me continue Job 5 and 14 they meet in darkness in the daytime and grope in the noonday as in the night but he saveth the poor from the sword from their mouth see from their mouth showing you that Edom hey he's the Lord's sword all right not just a sword or axe it's talking about his his attacks man his uh his blunt attacks his cruelty his wickedness you know his way of destroying you not only that, his bullets, his guns, his airplanes, whatever he can to destroy his weaponry, but also his tongue. It says, from their mouth and from the hand of the mighty. So the poor have hope and the iniquity stop of her mouth. And that's why we're able to prophesy today. The Lord, you know, held back his sword so that we can go out here and prophesy and we can have hope and being saved. That we will remember that our Lord put us into this captivity it will be him that's going to get us out of this captivity. All right. I'm thinking about Malachi, the first chapter. Um, the Lord said, I have loved Jacob and hated Esau. And then we say, where, 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 have, we, where have you loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother? You know, I have loved you, say of the Lord, and I have hated Esau. You see, the Lord loves us, man. Like as a, a father, he punished us. And this is his way of punishing us. Okay. That's why it's going to come a great deliverance. From our heavenly father through his son Yahawashai and bringing us back into him putting us back on that one accord man all right setting us straight you know and we're gonna be thankful we're gonna be thankful we're gonna be changed and we're gonna have the kingdom of heaven right here in the earth and guess what the sword they're going into captivity the uh, sons of men they're going into captivity all right that's the kingdom of heaven right here on the earth with our lord Yahawashai under the mighty power of Yahweh. They call Halala Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right? So I know I said a lot. Like I said, I wanted to continue on in the spirit. Um, <laughs> Let me go back to this scripture here, and I'll play the video. Amos 3 and 7. Surely the Lord will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets. The lion have roared, who hath feared? Yahweh hath spoken, who can but prophesy? Who can prophesize, man? The Lord's prophets. So let's continue on in the video. I'm Dr. Stella, MD.com. Yes, and please, for your, for your family's sake, be prepared. Patriot. She's one of the first doctors to come out when the whole fake pandemic began and expose what was really happening. Her big press conferences were received by hundreds of millions in DC. She's a fellow Texan. 
Dr. Shelly Emanuel's here. She'll be hosting the fourth hour today, but I wanted to get her on for a little while with us up front. She's also a great sponsor of the operation to keep us on air. She has an incredible product line, both of the best supplements, they're amazing. This is good as ours. And she has some different ones that we don't have. And she has a prescription service and, and, and help tens of thousands, or more than that, uh, hundreds of thousands during the pandemic actually protect themselves. And she's been saying, and if we had enough crew, we'd do it. It's not the crew's fault, I forgot to tell them. Uh, you were on six months ago, three months ago, a month ago, saying they're going to declare a new. All right, so what I'm going to do, so like you, I can't play this video because it's, you know, it's not meant for it to be on YouTube. You know, they're speaking freely. And uh, what that's going to do is get, you know, get me a strike on the page. So what I'll do is I'm going to cut the video short. You know, the water Yahweh washed me out shy for allowing me to bring out those presets through the spirit that just came to mind, you know. And um, that's going to be the lesson. I'm going to leave a link and you can watch this video. You know, brothers, you few sisters that's in tune, you know, body of believers, you know, watch the video. You can see it for yourself. And once they start talking, you will understand what I'm saying. You know, they're saying all the trigger words. I ain't going to be able to edit everything out like that. So I'll just leave a link and it's going to be a short lesson. Hopefully you will edify and you got something from the lesson that builds upon your faith, man. You know, we at the end of this thing and all we can do, you know, is uh, continue to hold on to the Lord, man. All right. Cleave unto him. Depart not away. Matter of fact, I'm going to close with that. All right. Because this is a very short lesson, you know. And um, I actually did a less, you know, I actually went over this. I actually went over this and um, I got to release that video as well. Um, but I'm going to touch on it again. One of my favorite chapters, which is Sirach, the second chapter. Right. But this is, you know, I love this. Uh, Sirach chapter two and one. My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. You know, prepare your soul, man. Prepare yourself to be tempted. You know, because why? You're serving the Lord and you got demons that are pressed against you. Ephesians 6 and 10 on down. You know, you know, we're fighting against principalities, man. Uh, evilness in high places. You know, this is a spiritual war before it gets actually physical. You know, it's a spiritual war. It starts with the mind, body, and spirit. The mind and spirit, man. And then eventually it's going to be a physical war because you're going to try to, you're going to strive to survive. You know? And then especially when our Lord cracked those clouds, as we always say, because he's coming back to fight, right? So it says, set thy heart aright, constantly endure, make not haste in a time of trouble. So knowing these things that's going to come to pass, you know, set your mind aright, you know? Pray, fast, be in the right spirit, you know? Be occupied in this work. Don't give too much of the distractions of the world your time, you know? Your primary focus should be the Lord. The Lord should be in all your thoughts every day, man. You know, it's not a day that go by you, you don't you don't pray. Every day we pray. You know? Every day. It's not a day that should go by that you didn't pray. You know? If you're not praying, then you're just a little bit too too much distracted in the world. And this world can easily distract you. That's the temptations, man. That's part of it, I'ma say. Alright? So it says, cleave unto him and depart not away, that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. You know, so bear with me. Okay, so Lockyer, let me read that again. Cleave unto him and depart not away, that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient when thou art changed to a low estate. And we know that, you know, we're all going to be changed into a low estate because, you know, it's going to get very hard out here for us to survive. And when they roll this thing out, and you're not for it, all right? You, of course, you're not going to be with it. When they force, it's going to get very hard for you. So you're going to be changed into a very low estate, all right? That's why it don't it don't it don't cost it don't pay to be uh, rich right now, you know. And I mean rich far as the the finances and you know the material things because when you lose those things, it's going to be a lot harder on those men, you know, for losing those things than it is for us brothers who are just getting by, you know? The Lord gives us our daily bread and we're thankful for that. That's the way you wanna have your mindset. Be thankful for what you have and what you can get your daily bread every day. You know, pay the bills that you gotta pay and got a roof over your head. You got you, you got a healthy, able body. You know, this is very important, you know? 
It's very important, man. The Lord is looking us out. So it says, Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient when thou change to a low estate. For gold is tried in the fire and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. Believe in him and he will help thee. Order thy way aright and trust in him. You that fear the Lord, wait for his mercy and go not aside, lest you fail. All right. And that's very important. The rest of the chapter, you know, is, is good. So I advise, you know, to read it, you know, if you haven't read it, if you knew, you know, um, but that's that's the message. That's the point. So I'm going to leave it with that. You know, depart not away. Cleave unto the Lord, man. So with that, I want to give all praise, and honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Racha Kodash, double honors to my apostles and elder bishops here in Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.